Yeah, uh, Chelsea, I'm a second year MBA as well. Um, so Brian and I are co-founders of um, a very early stage startup as part of our uh, business creation option for, filling, for fulfilling our uh, capstone thesis project at Anderson. Um, so he and I and our Anderson teammates, we all uh, come from entertainment or are going into it. And we sort of united uh, to form a BCO team um, around a shared passion for empowering artists and uh, promoting diversity and inclusion within the industry. Um, a big barrier to which is access to opportunity, um, both financial and um, you know, relationship-wise. So we wanted to um, form a business idea around solving that. And it happened to be right at the time that the NFT market was really taking off. So we got very excited about the potential use cases of NFTs for can film and television. Uh, can we go to the next oh, slide? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, for film and television, as well as the amount of money that was flowing into creators, um, and also the extremely creator-friendly aspects of blockchain technology. Um, so we've been workshopping this idea for about six months, and uh, to be candid, the market has really uh, evolved in that time span, so we've had to pivot a couple times, um, but we are, uh, through research and interviews with uh, industry experts and filmmakers, we've arrived at our current um, model and we're excited to share those ideas with you now. Um, so we are building a Web3 platform that will serve as a uh, central hub for emerging filmmakers, such as you know maybe recent graduates from elite film schools, um, to support themselves, to further their careers, um, and to uh, raise financing for projects through NFT sales. Um, we think that there's potential here to differentiate ourselves from you know other film and TV centric uh, NFT companies, uh, most of which look at this as a merchandising play um, by being very mission driven and artist friendly and targeting a very specific community that's uh, hungry for this. Uh, next slide. So there's a lot of uh, benefits on both sides of these exchanges. Um, for buyers, you know, first of all, it's an investment opportunity both from collectible NFTs that appreciate and value as an artist's career progresses as well as uh, NFTs that convey actual equity in specific projects. Um, like all collectible items, uh, NFTs are a signal of taste and self-expression, which we think is going to be an even more important factor as the market innovates new ways to show off your collection. Um, you uh, get to participate in a passionate, like-minded community. Um, you can feel good about supporting artists directly versus through you know, traditional media intermediaries. Um, and we also plan to structure this as a DAO, uh, decentralized autonomous organization, um, which can convey certain, certain rights to NFT holders to participate in the creative process itself. And there's a lot of really um, creative ways you can structure that. On the artist side, um, fair and direct compensation, it's a new way to monetize. And uh, you know, one exciting thing to know is the secondary royalty aspect you can code which is unlike any sort of uh, traditional merchandise. Um, it's a career building tool in that we are hoping to help people get things actually made and build their portfolios, um, as well as enable some networking. Um, it's a direct audience connection, which is valuable input for the creative process. Um, there is a lot of aspects of blockchain technology that is, uh, can be leveraged for protection over ownership and piracy and, uh, you know, the IP for artists. And finally, uh, NFC projects in themselves, we think can be a really um, innovative form of creative storytelling, um, which currently I think the film and TV industry has only just scratched the surface of what that can look like. And I'll pass it to Brian for the next slide. <laughs> so like uh, Chelsea mentioned, our goal with this new Web3 based platform is to really help open the doors for new kinds of entertainment projects to see the light of day. The hub will consist of not only artists, but also a large base of supporters and enthusiasts. And we've talked to many directors, fil um, filmmakers, producers in the film school, and a common theme is that they feel like they're alone when they're seeking funding for projects. And so um, one of our goals is to really help create a community that supports the filmmakers themselves. Um, number two, the emerging filmmakers are always trying to find creative ways to fundraise for their projects. But there's a hesitancy and an uncertainty around the value of NFTs. 
And there's massive demand for quality NFT projects, but not as much supply, and we're hoping to bridge that gap. Traditionally, film financing projects have targeted kind of wealthier, more angel type of investors. But we're seeing based on the data within crypto and NFT communities that there are high income um, demographics that are interested in investing in this place, um, but that pool hasn't really been tapped into yet. And this leads to our final goal, which is to disrupt the traditional film financing method. A lot of traditional Hollywood processes are kind of antithetical to the Web3 philosophies of decentralization and autonomy, and we think that presents an opportunity. Historically, the way capital has been allocated um, has been kind of shut off for diverse voices, and we hope to, to resolve some of that. So what exactly will the platform be? On to the next slide. We envision it to be a combination on three main factors, crowdfunding, crowdsourcing, and a marketplace. The, the, the platform will be structured as a DAO, whereby the collective members can purchase NFTs, which will be the mechanism that selects projects for funding. So on the crowdfunding side, we believe that the accelerating growth of NFTs and cryptos has developed into a pool of capital, whereby funders can purchase and buy into the collective via NFTs. Versa presents essentially an alternative to traditional crowdfunding methods. In fact, 37% of most crowdfunding entertainment projects aren't um, are, are successful, which means 73% don't even go to funding stage. On the crowdsourcing side, um, artists will join by contributing their projects via NFTs. So they could be still images, animated characters, digital art. Um, like the Blacklist, this is kind of a, a collective that pushes the best projects to the top. Finally, the platform will become a marketplace for not only project-based NFTs to be traded, but also for the community to engage and collaborate with each other. So we think it's also going to be a marketplace for talent as well. So as an example, imagine you have a filmmaker that has an animated series that they're trying to raise money for. Um, they can take their characters, create NFTs, and sell them on the platform. Interested community, community members can buy, their collect, buy those NFTs, which presents a, a share into that project, but buys into the collective. Um, or periodically, the DAO will have a mechanism that decides which projects get funded. And then those projects will get funded and the artists will receive the proceeds in order to go and make their project. And once the project is made and sold, the proceeds will go back to the collective to compensate the artists as well as give the original investors a return or fund more projects. So we believe in filmmakers and we believe in the collective power of the community. And with that, we thank you for your time. Hmm.